So we have our power starting at the battery. We have the ground. We have the jumper wire connecting our two 12 volt batteries to uh, add up to 24 volts. We have the positive side. We have a 40 volt, a 40 amp fuse that connects up to our power connection. We have our motor connection that sends our power to the motor. We have our brake light connection. We have our running light connection. This is our brake lever connection. The three wire connection here is for our throttle. And these two connections here, the last ones are the key switch for our on off switch. So now the system is off. Hit the throttle, you got nothing. Hit the brake, you got nothing. The system is completely off. Flip our switch on. We have running lights. We have brake lights. We have power. Well, that's how you hook up a 24 volt system. One thing I wanted to point out about the way the lights are hooked up here. The way normal lights are hooked up to a 12 volt battery is you have the power going to the power end of the light bulb and then the ground is usually connected to the case. That's for a 12 volt system. And then if you wanted to hook two light bulbs to a 12 volt system, you would just run a power to each bulb and then a ground to each case. And you'd be running 12 volts to each bulb. But for our 24 volt system, we need to run two bulbs in series. So we have a 24 volt battery pack. Our power would go to the power end of one bulb. The ground would come out and go into the power end of the second bulb. That way the two bulbs are in series. And then the ground from the case would go back to our ground of the battery to complete the circuit. This is the way our lights are hooked up on for the 24 volt uh, system. This is the way we have two uh, tail lights, or we have two brake lights hooked in series for the brake signal, and we have two running lights hooked in series for the headlighter running light. So that's how we run 12 volt bulbs on a 24 volt system by running two in series.